Um, I'm not going to give background on me. I've done that on a whole lot of uh, videos I've uploaded since um, Alexis Murphy was kidnapped, and so they say she was murdered. They haven't found her body. And the wrong person, so they found the guy, Randy Taylor, guilty. Uh, she went missing August the 3rd of last year. And someone brought me that knows about what I've been telling about mind control murders. And I was kidnapped, and uh, I put all this up, so I'm not going to reiterate again. I'm just going to try to make this one short. Uh, I don't know anymore why, because uh, the media won't print any of it. I guess national security involved if you tell the truth. But I had a letter from the FBI when I did a book on mind control. And uh, if anybody is interested, they can go back, because right now I'm having a really rough time living. And, um, you know, it's killed the messenger. Everybody knows it's true, but um, unless it's happened to them, that's what one of the FBI agents said to me. He pretended to be yawning. He said, you know what they do with it? You bore them with it. He says, it's only when they learn how it affects them that they care. So I'm going to get to the point. And this, there were mind control murders that were done in patterns. And mind control is invisible, so it's hard to prove. Uh, these were deliberately done in patterns. And again, I put this up on uh, video. So I wanted to make just two connections and and this won't do it, but to get your attention, maybe. This is to Arlene and Robert Holmes, the mother and father of uh, James Holmes. Uh, I read, I Googled and saw where she's a nurse, so I'm shocked that she doesn't have some information uh, on this, on mind control and programming uh, persons, modifying behavior and all that. The, the murders I've spoken about, and there's a whole list and list of them that since before 70 were being done. You can prove them. It includes a kind of database and um, synchronicity and names and dates and uh, well, it's, you, it's almost like instant messaging. Uh, if the person is the other that's watching TV or whatever knows what you're speaking of. So I don't lose you. I'm just going to put this one connection in here is a whole bunch more. I think the people should know what was done to their son. Um, there's the movie theater, the shooting, there in Aurora, Colorado, the Glenn Theater, I believe, was it 16? I'm not sure. I'm not looking at that or anything right at the moment. But if you got into the people who were shot, that he was programmed to shoot, they were programmed to be there. So this is kind of like Edward Snowden was trying to tell. He just touched the tip of the uh, iceberg on it. Uh, and people said, look where he's at. He's exiled. Russia took him in. Uh, so I want to say, just connect to one here, uh, because it was mind control. And the uh, Virginia Tech shootings, the 33 that were killed, uh, the young man was from South Korea. He was a student, and he shot these. And they were programmed, the names and all of it. So it's gone way and beyond. People have done nothing. They've just uh, poo pooed it and said, oh, that's crazy, or it didn't happen. And none of you psychiatrists have spoken out uh, and responded in the correct manner about it. To, uh, to call James Holmes mentally ill, he's not. He's been programmed. And to treat him for insanity or mental illness is the most gross thing you can do. And to feed him psychotic drugs and torture him further. And to put him on death row, he's programmed. He didn't know it. He had no choice in it. So I'm just going to jump from the, uh, and that's only two little connections I'm going to make. There's a whole list of them. Uh, to when I got this uh phone that was given to me by a friend who's in law enforcement way up and he knows all about it. He deliberately gave me this phone to do exactly what I'm doing. Uh, there was Alexis Murphy. She went missing that day and uh, supposedly murdered. 
and Randy Taylor's been tried and convicted, and they haven't found her body. But her car is one of the clues here, other than a lot of other stuff that ties it together in patterns. Her car was found outside of Car uh, Carmike uh, Theater. It had been left there. And by the way, nobody speaks of that anymore. Over in, uh, I believe it's in Charlottesville, not Lynchburg. It might have been Lynchburg, but it was found uh, part in the park in, park in front of Carmike Theater. Uh, so hers is also connected to the uh, Harrington, Morgan Harrington, and her father is a psychiatrist here and at uh, Virginia Tech. So I, I guess, anyway, well, I'll leave it at that. Um, and the British young lady, um, Hannah Graham, um, has to do with her being British and her name and the student there and, and a lot of things that tie it in. But the man who's been arrested for uh, Hannah, uh, she was murdered uh, and found on the side of the road out in the forest, really, close out in the forest here, was uh, Jesse Matthews. And then when they started, I'm sure, in my opinion, the cops, they know about all of this. They do. A lot of them have been not knocked off themselves, but... Uh, I've been treated like crap. Excuse me, my life's been a living hell with the uh, crimes that's ongoing committed against me. But um, the other person, other than so home, uh, not home, excuse me, uh, Jesse Matthews has been charged with uh, the Hannah Graham, and his DNA leads back to Morgan Harrington. And I've said this can be proven, right? Hannah Graham, the Morgan Harrington, well, all of them can, that I've spoken of, um, but the Alexis Murphy. The, the three of those were done like in this little clump that you can prove, can be proven. So I don't know. The whole thing is, will it be told uh, finally? Or will another man be sent to death row like uh, Mr. Holmes, James Holmes may be? Uh, in charge with murder, and then I don't think um, this man, Hull, uh, Matthews, will be charged, uh, will be called mentally ill. Uh, they haven't said that about him, but the whole thing is he's programmed. These, if they bring all this out, it's going to unravel other cases uh, that people are going to wonder and be suspect if that's a mind-controlled murder, too. It's an odd thing that has to be brought before the media uh, and in court of law about the mind control. Just Googling it and all that doesn't help. I'm going to get off now because I'm tired and uh, a lot of bad things are happening and have happened to me. I don't even know where my own sons are. Uh, so you're not going to get this, but I hope they read it, uh, the parents of Holmes. Uh, it's where I'm at. When I moved in here, I'm, I moved around. Now, I put all this on tape, but Matthews has to do with a couple that just moved in here, and their last name is Ramsey. And uh, it gets there without trying to explain the Matthews and uh and it fits together like clue or, or in a pattern. So, uh, and by the way, Dun Renee Ramsey was one of them. There's a list. So if I wanted the uh, parents to know, because I've contacted everybody. The media, I've contacted um, the Denver Post over and over. So, you know, that's all I can do. And I hope if anybody sees this, I'm not sure it's going up, to be honest with you. Uh, I hope at least they know what was done to their son.